Hi everyone, in today's lesson we will be going through default Fox in a max flow algorithm and as you can see in this diagram I have drawn a capacitated director network and each arrow going forward indicates how much flow that I can push through each up and the backward arrow indicates how much flow that's already been pushed. So to get started with the algorithm, I'll, I'll run through a few rules to do with it. And the first rule is that the forward arrow is used to identify the amount by which the flow along the arc can be increased by. The backward arrow is used to identify the amount by which the flow in the arc could be reduced by. Each flow argument in root starts at S and ends all the way at T. You may use both forward and backward arrows to indicate the flow given that there is a capacity in the given direction. To get started with the algorithm, we could simply use inspection to find which route, which initial flow that we could simply take starting at S going all the way to T. So if you look at S to B, you can send 11 through that, B to D you can send 10, and D to T you can send 6. And uh, if you're going to send a flow through that, it's going to be limited to 6, because 6 is the maximum that you can send through D to T. So at once, you can only send 6 through that arc. So you could simply add six along that which would be five and the amount we have is going to be six and you could add six here which would be ten minus six four and we would have six and you could add six through that and six so the flow so far is six now we can use inspection to find a different flow. So we could send 8 through that, 4 through that, 3 along that, and 13 along C to T. So the maximum that you can send through the whole path going from S to T is going to be 3 because the maximum we can send from D to C is going to be 3. So we send 3 along the path, so we minus 3 from that, 5, and we have 3 left, and we have 3 here, and minus 1, and we have 3 left and we have 3 and we take away 3 from the capacity so we can add 3 to the flow along the network and looking at the graph we can send 5 going from S to B and we can send 5 going from S to A and we choose S to B this time and we could send 5 along that and 4 along B to D and here's where you can use something called a backflow where you go back along the arrow and the amount that you use by going backwards is compensated by the amount that you add going forward so simply we could go 5 along that, 4 along that, 3 12 and 10 so the maximum you can send through that path is going to be 5 uh, going to be sorry 3 so you would take away 3 from that so that'd be 2 so we add 3 we take away 3 add 3 take away 3 add 3 and take away 3, we have 3 going forward, and we have 6, and take away 3, which is going to be 7.
7. So the flow along that path is 6 plus 3 plus 3. And now looking back at the graphs, you could still send 5 along there, 9 along there, and 7 along there. So reduce that. So we send 5, so the capacity becomes 0. And you add 5 to 3, which becomes 8. And you send 5 through there, which becomes 4. And 5 plus 3 becomes 8. And you send 5 through there. So it becomes 2. And 6 minus 6 plus 5, which goes to 11. So you add 5 to the flow of the network. Looking back at the graph, you could see you could send 2 along there, 1 along there, and you can't send anything through there, it's 0 going forward. We can't send anything through DTC, it's 0 going forward, and we can't send anything through D to T. So here you can see we have got a maximum flow. And the maximum flow is going to be 6 plus 3, which is 9, plus 3, which is 12, plus 5, which is 17. So, using the Ford Fox and Max Flow algorithm, the maximum flow that we can get for this graph is going to be 17. And you could also get that answer by simply looking at the arcs going out from the source node. So, you would calculate how much there is left in the arc, how much the, how much we have pushed through the arc to be precise. So that would be 9 plus 8, which is 17. Or you could use the sync node and how much we get at the sync node, which is 11 plus 6. So you'd simply add the backward arrows at the sync node or the source node, you get the maximum flow, which is 17.